our signs. We are going to do a little love reading to see what pops up. Holy hell. We have an engagement ring. I just did a two-part video on a regular page. And so we have not enough in reverse. Photograph in reverse. Girl talk in reverse. Whoever this is, this is not somebody that feels like they can't amount to you. Or this is not somebody that feels like they don't have a lot to offer. Um, and I do not think this is somebody from your past. This is also not somebody that gossips. And then you have I like you. So I do feel like this is somebody that's new. Um, this could be somebody that wants to take things to the next level, okay? I feel like there's romance blooming, you know, I feel like um, feelings are growing here, right? And I do feel like this is somebody that sees something special in you. Like, they, this is someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun flirting, wanting to date. To me, with this engagement ring and this card, tells me that this is somebody that wants to take things to the next level. Like, they see something in you that, you know, really intrigues them. So, let's see what it is. You have the Knight of Cups. That's a card of romance. It's also a card of being like sent to um, someone being sent something by the angels. So this person feels like you were sent from the heavens above. Like you're somebody with like a really huge heart. You're very um, loving and caring and genuine. And so um, I just feel like this person feels like they really click with you. The Ace of Swords, as I say that, you're definitely authentic. You're not somebody that is like fake. Like you're you all the time. It doesn't matter who's around you. If you guys are goofy, you're still goofy around like the new people or whoever. I just feel like you guys don't put on a show for nobody. It's like you either like me or you don't type thing, right? And so with the Seven of Cups, like this person has so many. This is what they like about you. Um, there's so many things. The Seven of Cups is like options. So like they like that you have so many different things going for you. They also like that you kind of confuse them a little bit. So you don't let them in all the way. So you kind of kind of keep them guessing a little bit. And they like that. It's just like they want to get to know you more and more and more, right? And so with the Six of Wands, you guys could be in the public eye. Or you're just somebody who's very supportive. You work for the community. You're helping others. It's just like, look how she has like her head held high. And it's just like, to me, it's like you guys know like your worth. You know that you stand out. You know that like, and it's like, the thing is that you guys are like leaders and it's like you guys want other people to be, you know, at your level too as well. So you're very uplifting. You're very supportive. You're somebody who like if you're going through something, you'll figure out a way. Like if there's a, a problem, you're going to figure a way out of it. You don't sit there and dwell on the problem. You're like, okay, well, what needs to be done next, right? I just feel like you guys are straight to the point, very authentic, very good at your communication. But at the same time, this person wants to know more about you because they don't know it all. Like I said, I do feel like this is a new person. The Ace of Wands. So you have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands out of five cards. This person loves your energy. Like there's this spunkiness I'm hearing, like spunky. Like maybe you guys are really like sassy or maybe you guys are really like, um, just like really energetic. And it's funny because the Aces fell on top of each other, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. You know, I just feel like you bring so much light into this person's life and like they're inspired by you. And then you have the Knight of Coins. So you're also somebody who's very persistent. You're somebody who's very, um, what is the word? I hate when my brain doesn't just tell me the word. Um, <laughs> the Knight of Coins. You could be younger than them. It's like you're like this fresh new energy. You have this huge heart. The Knight of Pentacles, you're very meticulous. You love to get the job done. Like when you say you're going to do something, you do it, right? You're not like, sugarcoating anything so what do they want to get to know more about you is the page of swords and the nine of wands i feel like they want to ask you questions like why are you so guarded um because i feel like this person does feel like you're a little bit guarded or you're a wounded warrior they may want to know about your past but there's always a time for that, right? Don't go right into a new connection telling everybody what you've been through because, like, if you're talking to a narcissist, you'll end up being their next victim, you know? If you're like, oh, yeah, I've been through this for 10 years. I've stuck with this person, and they treated me like shit, and I feel like I wasn't there. And if you're telling this to a narcissist, they're going to be like, ooh, I want her, you know? So, like, be careful. But this is somebody that, like, really sees, like, your soul, your genuineness, and they really like that about you. The Six of Coins... You're very generous. You're always helping somebody. Like, if they ask you what you're doing, you're like, oh, I'm doing this for this person, or I'm running errands, or I'm doing... It's just like you guys are always doing something, and it's always something that's productive or something that's helping other people. 
how do you view them? The Page of Wands. You can view them as somebody who is very like energetic, somebody that likes somebody that's like this new energy. So I also feel like you're also inspired by this person. Like you guys may have really like good conversations, like like fun conversations, like not like you know like um, serious things. Like I feel I, I feel like that could happen too as well. But I feel like you guys are also talking about like you know the things that you like and funny things and just, I don't know. I just feel like you guys are just enjoying each other's energy, you know, and this could have started out as friendship. You have the nine of cups. You, you view this person as somebody that has it all. Okay. The nine of cups is like a wish granted. So like if you haven't met this person yet, this could be something that's coming in the future for you guys. And when you meet this person, you're going to feel like this is somebody that you've always dreamed of somebody that you always wanted or needed. Right. With the emperor you needed somebody that was a stand-up person okay you may also see this person with a little bit of an ego which can mean like this person may think that they're hot shit so that's me how you you might kind of view them that way with the emperor if not that way then you see them as like boss level boss status like somebody who's very higher up somebody who is like a good role model a good leader somebody who's very determined and the four of coins clarified by the ten of coins they can have their own business all right they may have their own business they could invest a lot of their time and energy into this business it could be a family business that they have but um you see this somebody you see this as somebody with the ten of pentacles is like building the legacy okay so they could have just started a business or maybe they are you know you could also see them as like a family person you have the three of pentacles too as well i just see you I see that you see this person as somebody who could be like your partner in crime. I feel like you guys have an equal like parts of like this loving tenderness, but also this equal part of like, you know, let's get shit done type thing. Like you guys are very focused on your careers, on, on yourselves, like, you know, on having a healthy future. The six of wands. This is a very supportive connection. It's like you will support them, they will support you. And like if you guys are down, like you don't even have to go to anybody else, you just go to them. Like this is somebody who's always going to lift you up when you're feeling down. The magician. This person's going to have everything that you've been looking for. What are some things you need to watch out for? The eight of wands. The four of cups. Sometimes they don't speak what's on their mind and that may bother you. Okay and the knight of coins you may see that this person needs a little bit more work okay they're very slow moving and that may not be like something that you are i mean fire signs we're kind of like ready to go 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 right i'm an aries no patience um <laughs> so like maybe you're like thinking like this person needs to move quicker because i'm tired of waiting and just you know i just feel like you guys don't want to sit here like maybe nobody's communicating okay and it's like, I don't know if you guys know how each other feels. Communication is important here. But you have the Eight of Wands and the Four of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So to me, it's like you feel like this person, you want things to go quicker. You want things to go faster. But they're not going that fast. But it's something that needs to happen that way. All right? You have the Queen of Cups. You have the Temperance card. Yeah, things need to take its time. Go with the flow, okay? Because I do feel like this is somebody who has their heart guarded a little bit. You see how she has her hand over this cup? This is somebody that's been hurt too in the past, okay? And so, of course, with every single person in this world, none of us are completely healed. None of us are completely ready. You know, not ready. That's not even what I meant to say. Um, free of patterns right we all have patterns and then we get new ones when we expose out you know things happen whatever so i'm just saying that this person may have an issue when it comes down to expressing their feelings and saying certain things to you i just feel like this person doesn't want to make you guys upset they're very mindful of the words and like even if something's bothering them they may not want to tell you because they don't want you to take it another way you have the seven of coins. This person is like reminiscing about you a lot, thinking about you a lot. Like when you guys are not together and this person's at work, it's like they're just <clears throat> can't wait to get home so this way they can check their phone and message you. I feel like this is somebody that, look, the nine of cups, like they are so happy that they found somebody like you. 
And they are not going to risk losing you. The Queen of Wands. You're somebody that brings a lot of, like, fun into their lives. And it's just like you bring, you give them motivation. Um, you make them want to settle down. I have goosebumps, okay? You have the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Cups. You may feel like this person is a little bit um, deceiving. And I feel like it's because this person isn't as open as you are. But I feel like you got to give this person time, okay? Try not to rush this because I feel like this could be something that's really, really good for you. All right, I'm going to get guidance. You have the devil. Don't fall back in past patterns. The king of cups. The devil and the king of cups can be obsessions. It could be like lust. This could also be like, um, you have the king and the queen of cups here too, by the way. Divine counterparts, so really strong soulmate coming in for you. Don't let the past repeat itself, okay? And I know that this is a new person, but don't let the patterns from the past. Like, let's say if you can't trust people, like you got to work on that, right? Don't go into this connection feeling like you can't trust somebody. Give them a chance to prove themselves, okay? And you have the strength card. The strength card is the only card <clears throat> that can overcome the devil, okay? Because it's mind over matter, right? And so this... I feel like you guys will not, oh my God, sometimes I literally can't talk because you want to know what. I have like things that I want to say and then I have also things that are playing in my brain um, that I try to say and it like comes out together and it never works, <laughs> okay? But to me, this is like, this could also be like hold your temper. Like maybe some of you guys may like lose your temper quickly. I'm in Aries, I know. Try not to let your emotions get the best of you. Try to like, I don't know, because I feel like maybe there could be a past of you guys letting your anger interfere with, like, your feelings. And so sometimes you may say the things that you don't want to say. And I feel like it's really important for you guys to learn how to um, take some time and think about things before you fly off the handle. Okay, so this way, you know, I just feel like this is a really good connection. And um, I feel like spirit just wants you guys, it's not like you have to walk on eggshells, but like, I just feel like that was the message that somebody needed to hear. Maybe just one person. I don't know. Okay. And another thing is that like, if there's not a lot being said, there's not a lot being done. Speak up about it. Closed mouths don't get fed, okay? So make sure if there's a problem or an issue that you're facing, make sure you're being open and honest to this person so that way they could try to fix things, okay? So anyway, I guess I'm going to pull one more card. We have mirror. You're mirroring each other. So that's another thing. That's why I feel like it's really important for you guys to think first before you speak and not let your emotions get the best of you with this person because they are going to react the same way that you do to them. So I don't think that'll end too well, right? But if you come at them calmly, I feel like you'll get that same reaction out of them. And then this way you guys can build your bond stronger and you don't have to let these little arguments like mess something up really good, right? Anyway, I hope this helps and take care. See ya.